Why would I come here with no money to go back? <laughs> or with no money? Everyone was asking Chantal to give her cash app. It was not even her idea. It was chat asking her because people wanted to support her without backlash from you idiots. Yeah, I, I honestly don't care if people think I'm a scammer or an e-beggar. I don't care. I really don't. Think what you want. Like, I'm beyond caring at this point. Like, that's the last, like, I have so much else on my mind right now. It's just like, you know. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. People were asking me. So I was like, okay, well. Yeah. It's like every single, uh, most creators or most reaction channels that are bitching about it have cash apps or something of some kind. Like, you know. <laughs> There's good in being in both places. Yeah, for sure. Difference is, Miss Foodie Beauty, is that the reaction channels who potentially have thanks, and I have super thanks on my pages, and I'll be honest, is that we're not saying that our super pages are there because we're funding an apartment because we're moved back to the country that we are originally from and that is making all subscribers and audiences happy. That's the difference. And the difference also is, is that it is a scam because you are not returning the money back to your followers who did send you, even if it was $37 or 37 cents, it does not matter. Three people, 300 people. We don't know because you're just a liar. So whether any of that is true, we do not know. <laughs> but you have not returned the money and you took it under false pretenses. And that's why you're a scammer. It's plain and simple. And if somebody gave you, and I'm not going to take this because this was brought up by Chicken Pickle, that if somebody gave you money to go to a shopping mall and then you didn't go, then you should return them then the money too. Because then you're just keeping the money in a scam as well. So you don't have a right then to, oh, I just changed my mind. Well, that person has now changed their mind and wants their money back, potentially. Oh, anyway. Hi, guys. It's Ray. It's Life and Vibe, and I talk too much. <laughs> so the rest of this, I'm going to keep quick. But she keeps needing to be reminded why she's an e-begging scammer. Anyway, let me put out my fair use disclaimers real fast so we can make sure that she doesn't try to strike my channel Oh, she's going to come in as Sarah Lee probably and leave some comments. Anyway, if you do like this type of content, hit the like, subscribe, leave me a comment, and we're just going to get into this one. All right, Chantel, let's get going, girl. Okay, let me bring her up real fast. And it's called today Shopping Day Lush Mall and Giant Tiger. Hmm. Oh, not the tiger picture. Are you just trying to bait people, girl? I think she is. Okay. All right. Let me try to put her at 1.25 because she is very slow when she speaks. And uh, it it's Chantel. What can I say? <laughs> Let's go, girl. What do you got for me today? Oh, hold on. Before I go, let me just add me. Here I am, small to the stage. There we go. Let's go. Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> hey there, beezers. Oh, no, no. Hold on. I gotta speed this up along because we don't give her free advertising on this channel. Canada vlog. So today I am going with some family members to have a wonderful day. We're going to go on a little road trip. We're going to have lunch. We're going to go to a park. We're going to go shopping. I have some lush gift cards that I need to spend. And uh, yeah. So I'm going to be doing all of those things today. It's a beautiful day out and I'm inviting you all along with us. So Yella, come on, let's go. Chantel loves, sorry. Chantel loves a B-roll. Sorry, I keep messing around there. I mean, it's pretty. It looks like, you know, driving down the road. <laughs> the winter time. Trucks and stuff. I mean, for those of us who live, you know, on the East Coast of the North America, um, I'm here on that coast too. I mean, 
she's she's filling. This is filler. I, I hope people don't mind me talking over the music. First stop is to St. Albert Dairy Farm to get some fresh cheese curds. Fresh from their farm that they make daily. Wow, a 2kg bag of cheese curds? Oh my gosh, that would put me in a cheese coma. But uh, as much as I'd love to, I'm going to get the smallest bag they have. So yeah, I'm just going to get a little bag of cheese curds. The only reason you are purchasing the smaller bag of cheese curds is because you haven't been able to scam enough money. Payday is coming up from YouTube on the 21st of April. We are pretty close to that time. And even if she filmed this video a week ago, she was probably still hurting for money. So that's why, and the only reason that she bought the small bag, it's not because she cares because this girl would have bought the big bag and ate that entire thing in one night because she's done something like that before and she has been so clogged up with cheese that it has sent her to an emergency room. Oh, Giant Tiger's a store. Okay. All right, good to know because there is a picture of Chantel with a sedated Giant Tiger and Salah and uh, it's very unethical. And so I just thought she was going to potentially flash that picture up again because she likes to use B-roll from about 10 years ago in her videos to fill up time. Hey guys, so I'm here oh. in Canada just doing a vlog today. I'm doing a bit of shopping. I'm going to go to Lush. Sorry. And then, okay, this is, this is the queen of irony over here, okay? Because, and I'm sorry. I know I talk. But I am a registered nurse, and I did want to point out that she is an unmanaged, uncontrolled type 2 diabetic, and her doctor has tried to tell her to kind of stay away from the cheese. And I'm not too familiar with cheese curd, and so I'm not sure if it's a high-sodium salt, but I know things like cottage cheese and things like that, and feta cheese and all those types of soft cheeses tend to be high in sodium. That's what I understand. I eat primarily a plant-based diet. And, uh, and from what I can remember, like cottage cheese had a fair amount of salt. It was quite salty to the taste. And I would think cheese curd is kind of similar. Let me know in below. Anyone familiar with the curds? <laughs> and uh, I would say for Chantel and probably having Hulk problems, it, she should just stay away from that. Even a small bag. She just, she was just in the hospital. Right now we're at Giant Tiger and we're going to have lunch after. So Yella, come with us. Just going to go see if they have anything of interest, maybe. I don't know. Just have a look around. Summer's coming, so cool items are important. I used to love wearing pops as a kid. These are the cheesies. Hawkins. Canadian. My wallet for today. Can I get some socks? You can always use some socks. I'm uh, laughing because, of course, the first thing that she heads over to is food. It's just obsessive. She showed us this is what we've seen so far. I'm glad we're out and about, but regardless of that, that's not what I care about. I'm looking at what her behaviors are with her things and how she even goes to what items. Cheese curds. Obviously, that's what that town was famous for, but she could have just showed us the curds, not purchased anything. She can do that, you know? Then she comes in straight to the like bargain bin of, of candies and sweets. It's just wild. Just, you know, maybe having just been to the hospital and having been treated and not having paid probably your taxes, though potentially HR is H&R Block. We're still having fun debating that, uh, what you were up to. And it's on this day she got up to whatever. Anyway, let me keep her going. What? Chocolate socks. Oh god. Why can't cows wear shoes? Because they lack toes. Oh my gosh. Goodbye. Ooh, these are cute. I gotta find a way to get earrings around my hitch up. <laughs> Excuse me, do you know where the pickles are? And this is my casual outfit for today. Big head alert. I have a plus size that goes up to 3x, meaning probably not too much will fit me here. Uh, usually don't they do the outfit they're stood in a mirror full length so we can take a look at the whole thing from shoes to, to, to top top to bottom hmm I wonder why she you know don't even throw that in it's time filler it's just filler from her 
everyone knows that thing is going to get covered in food stains soon enough. If not already, it has been. <laughs> this shirt for summer looks nice and light. I really like the style of this. <laughs> oh. Mm, straight over to the moon like I, I said, see. it's pretty much like a Canadian Walmart. As you can see, they have things for pretty cheap. So it's actually even cheaper than Walmart, I've noticed. They had some really, really good deals, actually. Is this like a British equivalent of a Poundland? Because I know Poundland has clothes and stuff, but I didn't know if Poundland had food as well. Um, we didn't go to... I was say, I did grow up in the UK. And yes, I have a funny accent. It's because I've lived all over the world. It just kind of happens when you don't just live in one place your entire life. Your accent gets a little bit different. Okay. And I moved around my whole childhood. I'm, we're talking moved. Anyway, uh, why is she touching everything? I don't know. She supposedly just had norovirus. <laughs> I just want to know what the British equivalent of this type of store is. Because I don't, my mom was kind of a snob. I'm just going to say, she's not watching this. So I don't have to worry about whether she cares if I call her a snob. And she'd probably be saying, you're right. <laughs> oh no, she'd be upset actually. <sighs> Forget my mother. $1. fifty for a bag of these Epsom salts is a pretty good deal. So I'm just going to get a couple of bags for taking baths back home, which I do what the heck bath are you fitting in unless someone's got like a whirlpool tub in their house, girl? Oh, stop the lying. You would get stuck in a bathtub. Come on, be serious. Epsom salts, girl. You just see that it's something that's a buck fifty and it's within your budget. <laughs> You're not taking Epsom salts. And I promise you, whatever going on with your skin from that uncontrolled and unmanaged type 2 diabetes, all that yeasty sugar on your skin, Chantel. I wouldn't think Epsom salts. I would clear that with a doctor first. I don't know if you should just be popping into Epsom salts, especially with some like scented stuff like that. That might actually aggravate anything going on with your skin. So if you think that's going to take care of anything, girl, mm -mm. keep away from those Epsom salts. I think she's after that because as a runner, we use Epsom salts for muscular aches. So often when I have had races, one of the things that you can take a bath in, because I think it's just like magnesium. I think is uh, the base of Epsom salt is magnesium. So your skin is still going to absorb, obviously. <laughs> That's the whole purpose of lying in Epsom salts. That um, into your skin and uh, hopefully make it feel well. So she's either headed towards the Epsom salts because her leg is aggravating her. So I'm wondering if one of the appointments, because she said she has two appointments coming up, April the 18th and April the 23rd. The one on April the 18th, we understand is a mental health appointment. And the one on April the 23rd, I wonder if she's, we don't know what is being addressed on the 23rd. I don't know if that's another appointment for the mental health, like they've made two for her or if it's a whole separate appointment, maybe to take a look at the what's bothering her leg. She's not been diagnosed with sciatica, but I think that's why she's grabbing for the Epsom salts. So, you know, I would just probably stick away, you know, try to take the unscented maybe. I'm, you know, but that's why. That's my feeling as to why she's getting Epsom salt. Enjoy doing. I'm going to get one eucalyptus and one vanilla and probably just... Chantel, just be honest. You've heard that Epsom salts can relieve muscular pain, especially for the legs. Because as a runner, I and I'm a healthcare professional, obviously I've even told people to do this. So I know exactly why you're picking up the Epsom salts. It's for the leg pain. Just follow up with the provider and have it properly addressed. You have admitted you have not had a diagnosis, that you've not seen anybody, but you keep calling it sciatica. So unless you've actually had a doctor diagnose you with sciatica or some type of provider that has the licensure to do so, don't call it that. 
it could be that I'm not saying it isn't but just get it diagnosed properly and let them know whether or not you need epsom salt because that might be contraindicated for you so, so just don't be playing dr google out here all right let me go i talk too much supposedly mix the two together oh my gosh i literally cannot even smell hawaiian ginger without being traumatized from my teenage years you guys remember this stuff i want the prize got some sauces here olive garden ranch pf chang's sesame teriyaki sauce buffalo well wings arby's i spotted rice cakes these are my favorite to snack on I love the dill and I also love the all dressed. So the only solution is get a bag of each. I found these gourmet popcorn flavors. Very interesting. Would you guys try these? I love this dill pickle powder, but I'm not gonna get it today. So they had like a bargain sale section and I always check it out. They had some tea on sale for less than two bucks. And I think this milk thistle is good for you, isn't it? I think you can interact with certain medications. So I think since you are somebody who takes medications, just randomly drinking something with milk thistle would not be recommended. <laughs> Chantel, of course, she's looking at all the food and it's all processed. It's all stuff I would not recommend to anybody. This is all processed stuff. That's why it ends up in these cheap stores because it's cheap bioengineered food products. Okay. And I use the word food lightly. It's terrible. And there's, it's, it's just, stay away, hey. folks. Have have some real fruit. Just enjoy a, a, I made applesauce, unsweetened yesterday. Homemade. And they had these like bargain bin can of peanuts and ketchup and dill pickle are my favorite. So I hope they're not stale. Who even eats these giant hosts? I don't get it. Like they sell Cineplex movie theater nacho cheese now individually interesting it's shake and bake you know it helps yeah i am a sucker for shake and bake yeah my favorite candy in the world these sour soothers since i'm a kid but i'm not going to get them today either you know you're at a bargain store when there's a huge bin of stovetop on sale vegetable thins are some of my favorite crackers as well they're really good i know a pretty princess who would love to sleep in this cute basket and here's their like home section where you can get all kinds of cute little things for your home, like bathroom goods, soap holders, towels, and some really Am I the only person who's starting to get bored with these types of logs? <laughs> I understand it's nice for people who maybe aren't able to get out and go shopping because they have physical limitations. So I understand. I understand. But look how swollen she is at the moment. I barely can and see the definition between any of her knuckles, fingers. She does not need to be anywhere near sodium-laden snacks, but she has a certain fetish subsection of the population that watches this type of content, and they're called feeders. And so they're going to want to see the food and lots of junky, cruddy food that they know can harm people because – that's what kind of gets their kicks off. And Chantel is happy to take probably allegedly, in our opinion, money in probably dark web situations and have YouTube as her advertising cord for the type of person that she is. It's no different than they say some of the catalogs um, for things like Victoria's Secret models and stuff like that. As horrific as it sounds, the more this industry and just these types of things begin to be exposed, we see that what people are doing is not content to try to support people who are maybe struggling with their weight or trying to lose weight, but actually advertising to other fetishes where people with money who are a little bit dark and maybe supporting them. And they used to say, I hate to say it, that the VS catalog was just a very high end. Uh, catalog for women that are very expensive with certain services <laughs> for very rich billionaires. So it's just a higher end of, of client. And that's like, the, they say the Pirelli calendar, all these things. It's fascinating. 
and uh, the why anybody who was smart uh, kept away from that stuff. All right. Really cute dessert candles. These are so cute. A bit of nostalgia in the game section. Oh my gosh, they still sell Operation. That's like the ultimate jump scare when you're trying to get that little bone out. Which bone was it? I can't remember. Anyway, there's a hard bone to get out. And that buzzer would scare me. And just a warning to all your haters. If you don't leave me alone, you're going to get super soaked. Oh, yes, buddy. Oh, yes. This mug says la vie est belle. Bien sûr, la vie est belle. All right, found a parking spot. Now we are at the shopping mall and it's time to get down to business. I am seriously going to do some damage at Lush. I cannot wait. The only reason she's doing damage at Lush is because she was gifted gift cards. Now, I do want to preface that she did say she had a highly contagious norovirus probably, I don't know how many days before this. So I hope she's been cleared to go and uh, touch stuff in a public place because that's how it's transmitted. So watch out, everyone. Typhoid Miriam out there. I don't know why we're getting B-roll footage of the back end of the mall, as far as we can walk. I'm thinking this must be, is this a mall somewhere near Ottawa? Because I'm thinking they must have gone to whatever appointment she had at 8.45. I seriously think she did, or, or, or is this another day? Because it seemed, or was this just a weird timeline? Because she shows herself eating lunch. And so I would have thought, well, we'll get into that. This must be another day. First, we stopped into this really cool local oh, no. store called Ottawa Loves Local. And they just had like a whole bunch of different really cool craft items like um, earrings. Maybe this was after the appointment and before lunch. I don't know, because usually malls in this area don't open maybe until 10 or 11, especially like on a Monday. And I think somewhere she said it was a Monday. And I think some of her lives came that evening after she did this uh video vlog uh filming but obviously hadn't edited it and put it together before she went live so it's it's why her timelines are always kind of weird and she doesn't explain them so because that's just the way she rolls so i'm thinking she went to her 8 45 a.m appointment she's at the small in ottawa i'm sorry to my canadian watchers and my terrible canadian geography it is appalling and i'm trying to learn so i hope to not mess up here today and then after this more she goes to lunch okay all right i'm on her timeline okay i had to straighten it out for me candles bracelets you know stuff like that homemade tumblers different kinds of homemade treats from local vendors look at these cute cups and candles yeah they were like just the cutest and these like chili flavored gummy candies i didn't get any but i really would be interesting to know what spicy candy tastes like and these cute dragons and like little emoji things and keychains and this weird cup holder yeah i bet you would ryan reynolds i bet you would like that drink on your face wouldn't you <laughs> and i want these earrings so bad i didn't get them but aren't they so pretty like i love them anyway they have all kinds of homemade tumblers and mugs including these really cool like horoscope mugs i don't think there's anything in there but yeah hi <laughs> oh all right and here we are you can see the marks from her glasses on that hold on we gotta go back on that shot for just a second hold on all right so look at poor chantelle here my goodness obviously she was trying to get one of her beauty shots in here 
Carl, you, I hope you're seeing a dermatologist. I hope that appointment on the 28th or 23rd or what date it was, the 23rd. So it's like five days after the 18th. I, I want to say this two appointments are linked somehow. And if you hear really loud snoring, that's my puppy June bug just taking, taking her, her sleep this morning. Um, yeah, she can, her glasses have left her face extremely mock, as you can see, you can really see. So that, and she's probably filtered this. So the filters have been unable because the lights inside of malls, the sunlight often is so bright. It's just like, wow. Uh, which can make you look better for the camera too, because it like brightens you out. But you very clearly can see either is that or oh, is that the CPAP? Maybe that's the CPAP. Is that her glasses or the CPAP over the face? Oh my gosh. Whichever it is, uh, now I'm thinking CPAP. Whichever that is, that's wild because she has that much swelling in her face that it's leaving that much of a mock because she's probably, you know, the fluid is there. So she's just having more mocked um, indentation there than say maybe some people or your mask is not fitted properly. Something is going on, girl. Mm, why? That's wild. Because she would have been up for a while. You have to think. It's either glasses leaving this, but it's, it's part oh, maybe it's just the glasses and those are eye bags. Put your comments down below what you think of it. CPAP marks? Because it seems like it would be too far from her having driven to Ottawa and had the appointment in 8.45 and now be at the mall. Or is it just the glasses? And that's pretty wild that it goes all the way to the cheek. Because I wear glasses and I don't get anything like this. I don't get anything. I mean, I don't get any marks like this. Like a little bit here on the side just from the, you know, having sat there, type marks, redness, but none of these sort of indentation. Yeah. Hmm. Hi. <laughs> All right, and here we are, Lush. Like I said, I have some gift cards for my birthday to spend here, and I cannot wait. All right, so I'm definitely getting a huge bottle of this Oud Hess, if I'm saying that right, shower gel. It smells delicious and amazing. This Posh Chocolate Body Wash, which smells like chocolate and smells amazing. I'm also going to get some Yummy Custard Body Wash. It smells sweet and delicious. And some Posh White Chocolate and Rose. I wanted to try some of the perfumes I've never smelled before. So I saw that they had a perfume card here and I decided to smell one called Alina. And it actually smells really, really I would think this shop is very kind and puts a sink out for people to wash their hands and test products and so forth since you, it's a store that you're going to pick up and touch things in and that's the way that disease is spread especially something as contagious as norovirus that you know I say hey obviously I want to pick up and touch things because I quickly just wash my hands um because I've been out and about here and I just want to make sure that I'm staying you know keeping everything clean they probably say sure go ahead test out some of the products because I know they do like a whole demonstration at the sink I just wonder because like especially with Chantel okay just say it she was sick supposedly really good I have to research the story behind it I definitely have to pick up a couple of massage bars. I know my husband will love these. So I'm going to get an after, which has magnesium, and I'm going to get a therapy massage bar. Mm, interesting. Let me stop it there and get on that magnesium. Because magnesium is also in Epsom salts. And magnesium, as I've told you, helps with muscles. That's not going to Salah, girl. Salah. Sorry, people get upset with me how I pronounce it. I apologize. I'm terrible. I'm trying. Hey, that's for you. Stop the lies. You're just trying to say like you're buying stuff for your husband. You are such a selfish person. There's no way that you are buying anything for husband with your uh, gift cards. That's You know that's a straight up lie. And that magnesium girl, you're telling on yourself. Go get that leg checked out.
Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. She has gift codes. I'm also out of my face moisturizer, so I'm going to pick up my favorite, which is Skins Shangri-La. I love their soaps as well, so I decided to get a couple of those. I actually ended up getting um, a goddess soap and a strawberry heart soap. I have to say, this is now making me want to go spend silly money up at the Lush store at the mall at my place because I'm going to be down that area today myself by where my local store is located. I have not been in a long time because I never have cash to pay for the parking. But I think now they take credit cards. <laughs> it's been my biggest problem. Otherwise, it's 15 minutes in and out and seven of which I have to use just going through the parking lot. And I also I bought a piece of uh, Sultan of Soap, which mm. is a classic, and it's one of their best. So, yeah, the goddess oh, also that. was so surprised how nice it smells. That sea vegetable one, I love that one. Uh, there was one, oh, I loved it. So, oh, I'm going to have to go and take a look. I'm trying to be careful with my money, Chantel. See, this is why you shouldn't watch things with consumerism. But I have not been to Lush in a long time. And I really fancy going. I just, you know, but I have so many stuff. I already have stuff at the house. Like, there's nothing I need. It would just be once. Now, I don't know if you've ever had Colonel's popcorn, but it's so good. So I decided to pick up a small, cheesy dill flavor. It's one of my. Is it better than Garrett's popcorn up in Chicago? Because that stuff's the bomb. <laughs> My favorite flavors. Pretty much anything cheese and dill is a win. So after the mall, we were pretty hungry and we decided to stop at the Green Door. It is probably the best, arguably, vegetarian restaurant in Ottawa. And Didn't she say her aunt Phyllis was with her potentially that day? Because somebody is making her go do some healthy stuff. Like, there's a bargain being fed. Because, like, there is no way in God's green earth that Foodie selected to go walk her ass into a green vegan restaurant. Though I, this is up my street, okay? But the cauliflower pizza, the vegan vegetarian meal, this is all instigated by her family. This is, this is, she is an unwilling participant. And we love it. So we haven't been there in a while, but boy, let me tell you, everything was so expensive, more than I remembered. So yeah, just be wary. You pay by weight um, and it's hard to really know how much everything is going to cost until they weigh it so i'm picking up some marinated mushrooms this is like the cold salad bar they were out of a lot of things because we came after the lunch rush but that's broccoli salad some marinated spring greens or spring mix i am having some of their spicy kimchi it's very delicious they make everything in house every day fresh and here's the hot bar we have vegetarian lasagna tofu quiche mm -hmm. rice spicy peanut tempeh mashed potatoes with cheese I have to say, this is making me hungry. See, this is the stuff I love to eat. The vegan, plant-based stuff. All those vegetables look good. She hates the fact that she actually has to portion control because of money. And this is somebody who was just begging her audience for money for an apartment that she did not get, and then she did not return the money. And she's in, says it's donations. But she's here because, you know, somebody's trying to be healthy in her family, but... Uh, Chantel doesn't really like this type of food, so don't be fooled, people. Cheese and kale, and this is what my plate ended up being piled on with. And that that's why she's got that huge, big, cheesy piece of lasagna sat there with the cheesy um, spinaki. I'm sorry if I pronounced that incorrect. Um, oh gosh, she'll get it right. Um, I don't eat this stuff. <laughs> that thing is is deadly. And then all this mashed potato. So she got just as all this carbohydrate here. So about this part here was fine. Okay. And then she just killed the rest of it over here. And this is all the way, all the money went to all of this stuff over here. Not to this over here. And she's a diabetic, uncontrolled type two. This girl. 
this is the, the sugar nightmare that's going to make you feel terrible. That's a spinnacle pita, oh, this triangle thing here. It has spinach and feta cheese and dill. And this actually is a $40 plate. Uh, and she probably ate that cheese curd in the car on the way up to the appointment or whatever. Okay? So that was salt. And now she has the feta cheese, which is another, I know is a salty cheese. Her sodium levels are going to be off the chart. Whenever she rang it up and told me the price, I was in shock. But I did get quite a bit of food. But man, that see, she's trying to like, oh, the gas is so expensive. Oh, this food's so expensive. I think she's trying to hope that either one, she gets more feeders sending her money for content. And she's got to load up because you got to keep her feeders happy that watch this stuff too. They want to see big girl eat big. And then uh, the other part is getting, obviously, people in her live streams and chats to feel sorry for her and send her money. Because, of course, she last time wasn't able to get money over her birthday, 40th, because she had a channel strike for seven days. That was pricey. Overall, the ambiance at this place is just really cool. And again, they make everything fresh and organic. So it is worth the price in the end. Oh, she was cussing that crap out. Don't you even lie, foodie. You were so angry that your family member suggested and that you piled up on that carb-heavy, cheesy stuff. The least healthy thing that you could find in that vegan vegetarian restaurant was the stuff that you piled your plate with, girl. And don't get me wrong. I love mashed potato. I made mashed potato yesterday, but I had a very small amount of it. And... It, it, the rest is in the fridge. <laughs> and that was the only carb I had on my plate at the time. <laughs> and I'm not a diabetic type 2, unmanaged, uncontrolled either. Or any type. It's such a beautiful day out. Anyways, guys, I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. I gotta walk down this little scary alleyway to get to the car. <laughs> The rest of the people I'm with today uh, are looking in like a bookstore and honestly, um, I'm just not interested so I'm going to the car to get water. <laughs> Alright guys, while well, I have a few moments alone. I thought you were an English major. I thought the thing that you were going to go off to do was be an English teacher. I think you're just tired. I don't think that it's not that you're interested in looking at books. You sounded extremely out of breath just walking down that that path and you've been out for a while now doing stuff so you would have been out for the appointment they probably took you straight over to eat to the mall and to eat lunch and you're exhausted you just can't do anymore so that's why they're in the bookstore and you're in the call because that's who you are now you're the 40 year old grandmother who has to hang out in the call because they're too tired to do what the young people are doing. And the funny thing is, is the young people are probably your 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 aunt and your mum potentially, or just your aunt, somebody, because your mum's probably at work. Just your aunt potentially. And she's older than you. It's your aunt, girl. <laughs> I know your mum had you young, but they're still older than you. That should be a wake-up signal for you. That you cannot stay hanging out with your family on a visit from a foreign country that you keep saying you're desperate to leave, desperate to get back to the husband. And you are so unhealthy and so unfit that you don't even have the energy to, to spend the day doing fun activities like bookstores. I love going to bookstores. I was an English lit major at university on my first degree. So I love a bookstore. I love books. I bought Kalari's book actually yesterday, Foodie. Thank you for making me know that uh, I want to support her her new book. And so I purchased an ebook that I get to read when I go to my doctor's appointment today. So there we go. And uh, and I'm excited. So thank you, Kalari. And thank you for sending the discount code and everything else. So I appreciate that. But yeah, Chantel, that's why you're not at the book. That's why you're not at the bookstore. And I'm sorry that was long-winded. 
But sometimes the thoughts, you know, about the whole situation that this, you know, they, the, you know, I'm more reacting. So I'm just thinking to myself, here is this person who is, because I live abroad and have lived, you know, that, I think that's an old fashioned term, but I have lived overseas in different countries, have been, um, uh, had uh, immigration status in Mexico. I grew up in the UK. I live in the United States. I've lived in different countries. People are like, oh, you got a weird accent. It's because I've lived all over the globe for lots of different times and I've spoken, had to speak different languages. So over time, obviously, my accent is going to sound odd. <laughs> but anyway, this young lady here is over and keeps saying she's desperate to get back, which she, we know she can't because she's flying in from you know, a war area that is potentially not able to go back into at this time. And it's not by her choice. It's mean literally because the airspace is closed. And she still cannot spend time with her family because she's so unhealthy. And then think about all that horrible looking snacks and, and crackles and pops that she was picking up and probably purchasing at that giant tiger. It, it's hard to have any sympathy for this person. And then I'm waiting for people to come back to the car. I'm just gonna end the video here. So I just wanted you to come shopping with me. I know you guys like shopping vlogs sometimes here and there. So yeah, this is just um, an example of a kind of day out we usually do shopping and lunch or something like that. And uh, we're actually just gonna go to park probably. So um, I might get a few snippets of that, but I'm gonna end the video here. So, and the weather was beautiful. Like it was just amazing weather today. So very nice day. Thank you for coming along and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. All right, let me let her figure out. Oh, whatever. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure she's not thankful. Hold on. Let me get rid of Chantel real fast. All right, girl. Uh, I don't know. She's got like a minute and a half of B-roll. And I can't be bothered to play her B-roll. All right. And give her any more watch time. So I'm just going to stop that. <laughs> and uh, thank you all for uh, just watching this video. Uh, if you do like this type of content, I do ask you to, to hit the likes, hit the subscribe, subscribe, sorry. Uh, for this one, if you'd like to leave me a bar of soap, uh, for foodie having gone to Lush, leave me a bar of soap, everybody. All right, I appreciate it. Take care. Bye.